You mind if I record the video? No, no. This is going to be an interview. You mind if I record no, no, us? Go oh, ahead, okay. go ahead. And um, they... Um, so you said you joined Amazon. Amazon, right. And How's that working out? Good. You're getting food. I'm getting food. Do they take food stamps? No, they don't take food stamps. Oh. That's the only thing. But they take food. You know, you go online for Amazon, and you can order your food, and within two days, you have it. Mm. And then I went online one another time and I got jet.com. And that's What's part that? Jet? Jet.com. Mm. And that's a part of Walmart. And Walmart bought jet.com out. So I, I want I wanted to go back to what you were saying about, you know, you said and Uber is a challenge when you try to go get healthy foods. You know, what, what were you saying about okay, that? Okay, with Uber they did, at one time they didn't like to transport handicapped people. Oh yeah, yeah, cause yeah, they, their drivers would have the driver to help put to the help you with mm, the wheelchair or whatever. Right. And then I was told that Lyft is much better okay. than Uber. Okay. You know. Okay. Man. And so I had gotten so frustrated and all because I didn't have a way to get to the store. I just dealt with um, Amazon and, and Jet.com. And you said, have you been to the, uh, you been to that new, uh, the new, the new Walmart? Walmart? Yeah, I went this month. Oh, okay, do you? I liked it. it you but liked it? I liked it, but let me tell you something. They're a little higher than some of the other Walmarts I've been in. How do you get there? Well, this guy, he carried me. Oh, okay. You Did know, you have to pay him? Twenty dollars. And, and I said, feel like it was twenty dollars. Right twenty dollars. And that's about that's like less than two miles from Right, that's right around the corner for right. me. You know. And and he waited for you? Yeah, he he waited for me, yeah. He waited for me. I figured like ten dollars, you know. And you right always there. have enough time, they always wait for you when Well, you... he waited for he went to sleep, so I had it <laughs> made oh. this time. But you were saying that one time you spent how much in one month? When last in July, I spent sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars because I Family Dollar had a sale. I went to Family Dollar, and he char I charged me ten dollars then. And another time I went to Family Dollar. Every time he moves, moves. It's ten dollars. It's ten dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I wanted to go to BJ's, and. Uh, he go, no, 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 I ain't, I ain't take, take me to no BJ. Oh, because you wanted to get some, get it in bulk so oh, you can't, right. so you don't, can save more money save and not have money. to pay. Right. Yeah, right. So, and and BJ's had a coupon. I, I deal with coupons. Oh, okay. So that's the way you're I, trying to, you're trying saving. to stretch that money. Right, right, right you know, and um, so by. Because you know, a lot of people think that if you live in the projects, that means you ain't working, you ain't trying, you lazy. But you, you know, know that. You, and that's something that makes me mad. When I moved here, I've been out here, I don't mind, I'm not ashamed to say it, but I've been out here 37 years. Okay. When I moved out here, I was working. I was working. And I had two children. I was working. I got, I've been sick all my life. Okay. And I'm in October, I'll be 67 years young. I was working, I worked, and I worked all my life, but I worked off and on. When I get sick, I can't work. Right. I have asthma, gotcha. arthritis, and everything. Mm. So I got sick, and the doctor told me I had osteoarthritis. He said, You're not going to be able to work anymore. You tried, but you're not going to be able to do it, mm -hmm. you know. So I had to stop working. And I didn't come out here to stay this long, but the circumstances came where I had no choice. Right. And that's when people think that when you move in a project, you try to make it your, your life thing. But these apartments on the outside, five or six hundred dollars. Right. At that time, that was what I was getting a month from SSI. So how can I get an apartment and getting $500 from SSI 
what am I going to do? I'm going to buy clothes for my children. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and people, you know, people just don't understand. Yeah, and people. then if your kids don't have no clothes, then they looking at you like, it, why you ain't got it, your kids no clothes? No clothes or no. Why your kids looking like, and, why and, you ain't feeding your kids? Right, you know? and then doing, when they came out with Section 8, well, by that time, my, my son was getting ready to go to college. And they had people go get in the Section 8 apartment, certain ones, and then when your children got 18, you had to move out of the, the, the apartments. Oh, okay. And you end up back in the project. And you know, okay, different okay. ones was like moving, moving, mm. and they were saying, come on, Miss Wanda. And I said, uh-uh, I'm not sticking my head out like a turban can't get it back in. Right. And I'm not falling behind everybody because something ain't right with that program. Mm. And that was Section 8 when it first came out? When it first came out. Mm. And I said, uh-uh, I am not sticking my head out. And everybody that was moving out and everything was Section 8. And they say, no, they, when the children got us 18, whatever, they had to move out. And then those apartments up, up Carver. Carver, okay. Up Carver mm -hmm. with those homes and all. Right. They told them they could live there for a year. And then they had option of buying. Well, if you knew your credit wasn't right, you had a year to get your credit right. A year. A year. <laughs> <laughs> See, a they, year. Don't they don't, they tell, during that time, they told you a certain thing. Okay, people started moving up and there. They hollered, come on, Miss Wanda. I said, uh-uh, no. My credit wasn't bad, my credit was good. But I said, oh, yeah, I'm not still not sticking my neck up because I know. I, I don't get, think a year is, is long, long enough. Long enough. To, yeah. If, if, you, <laughs> if okay. your credit is messed up, a, a year, year is and, not long and like, enough. A lot of people go down to MCV, and when the, that bill come in, they toss it to the side. When they get the income tax money, whatever, they don't think about, well, I need to put something on my bill from MCV. Mm -hmm. You know? And. They, their mind don't do that way. So with me, I get sick and all, and uh, and like I said, when my daddy was living, my daddy always taught us, when you get your pay, when you get paid, you get your check, you pay one, the first thing you pay is your rent. But you know you got to have somewhere to live. Mm -hmm. And I, that instilled me, so you pay your rent if you don't pay nothing right. else. You pay that rent. Right. And I always did that. And everybody was just moving around me. And I said, that program, something ain't right. And then there was certain ones that was getting Section 8. Certain ones. So I said, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Here I am. Everybody around me is getting it. And here I am. So I said, well, later for that. But mm -hmm. now the program is much better after so many years. But then, by that time, I'm senior citizen, and I'm disabled. Right. So, um, you know, they told me buying a house. Buying a house. Right. I, I, like it's that easy. It's, like, I'm too late now. I'm too old now to buy a house, you know. On the internet now, they always tell me I can buy a house. Nothing down, because my credit is good. I'm 67. Mm -hmm. What house I'm going to buy now? I'm, I'm by myself, my children, I don't know them. They don't, you know, right. I don't, you know they, they know me when they want to know me or whatever. Right. But um, it's a thing now you, when you get in here, it's not that you can't get out. It's, the, it's not that you can't get out. If you get out, where, where are you going to go? It's hard, it's hard, it's hard being in here. You know, you have to pay your rent and it goes by your income. You have to pay electric bill, you know. And like I tell people, I, somebody come here and they might use my bathroom and they leave my light on. I say, cut that light on, I got right. electric yeah. bill. Yeah. Oh, you ain't got to pay no electric bill, you live in the project. I, don't you have to pay electric bill, you know? You know what, and, and what you, what you said is true about like where are you going to go because even if all of the unemployed people that were in the city of richmond 
even if all of them got were able to get these jobs that aren't in Richmond or whatever, but even if they were able to get jobs and to move out, like there isn't even enough housing, housing. to affordable right. housing in Richmond for them. Right, and then you know what makes me so mad? When I be going to the doctor and I see so many of these houses that's boarded up or just sitting there. Yep. And no one's living in it. Yep. And I tell my aide all the time, I say, now look at those, these houses abandoned. When they can fix them up or gut them out or whatever and put some of these homeless people in, especially that nursing home around there. Mm -hmm. Every time I go by there, and in the wintertime, I said, now they could take some of these homeless people that's out here. Some of them are good with the yards. Some of them are, uh, can, can, uh, paint and, and do anything, everything, mm -hmm. put them in that nursing home right. and let them live there yep. instead of living out in the street. That's making too much sense. You're caring too much about people. That's what it is. And you know, <laughs> that's my heart. That's my heart. 